Hey, what's up, everybody? So, I know just like everybody, like my kids are ridiculously picky when it comes to eating, which is strange because, you know, like I can cook all kinds of things, but my kids' favorite thing to tell me is, Dad, you eat weird stuff, which is true. Uh, <laughs> but, so like, they literally like said, you know, hey, we're gonna make meatloaf. And they literally said, well, is dad gonna make it? Cause my wife made it one time and she looked up this recipe, easy, blah, 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 um, how to make. And yeah, now they, they like mine, which my meatloaf is a little bit different than like what some people do. Cause I basically make a giant meatball. I'm gonna show you all how to do it, okay? All right, like I said, <clears throat> my Meatloaf is actually more like a really, really big meatball. So the key is, of course, we're going to use some breadcrumbs, just like you would in some of the other ones. It's probably going to be more, though. And we're also going to use, I like to use Pecorino Romano, which that's what this is. and Or you can use Parmigiano Reggiano or something like that. Or one of the hard cheeses. And like I said, what it ends up doing is making this like a meatball. Although, I just realized, don't throw a backside of this rind away. Use that in some soups and stuff. It's good. All right. Like, we're gonna need a big bowl for this. I'm just saying. So, there's a big, big bowl. We're gonna put all that ground meat in. Get it, get, get out of there. Like, seriously, you need all of it. All of it. Breadcrumbs. Seasoning. Now, I use Paul's blend. Y'all can use some other kind of blend or whatever. And I can even put, okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll put in the recipe how to do it with some other types of seasonings. I promise, it's gonna be down there. So you'll have the options. Two eggs. All right, I said I had forgotten the garlic. So I went and grabbed some garlic. Now, I know how in the recipes they always say, oh, one, two cloves of garlic. And just like onions, like they're not all the same size, people. Like I'm using two today. If these were tinier, I'd use like five. Just depends on what you got. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there. I love this, watch this, watch this, watch this. Boop! It helps if you don't get it in, in the bowl. All right, now on this, you gotta mix it all together, but you also don't wanna over mix it because that's gonna make it tough and it's really condensed and pop bomb. Oh, and the secret, I add just a little bit of milk to help, help keep that moisture in. All right, that's, that's how much you mix it. I just mix it all together, just the way it all comes together. You don't have to mix it until like it's perfectly homogenous. It's gonna make it tough. All right, now I have one of these fancy pans where it's actually got like an insert that goes inside and makes all the oil drip to the bottom. Look, if you don't have one of this, okay, might be a little bit more oily, greasy, depending on what kind of beef you use and what's the fat ratio and everything. 80-20 is the best way to go, y'all. That's it, just 80-20. You can do it lean, but whatever. All right, so, <clears throat> Go ahead and put it in there. Oh, and if you don't have one of these, a loaf pan or anything, you can form it into a loaf on a sheet pan. Still gonna cook, still gonna come out really good. So, we're gonna go ahead and dump all of this into the pan. That's simple. As you can see, I measured perfectly. <laughs> Seriously, I barely ever measure. I only measure for you people. But this time I measured. I, I did, I swear. Uh, I'm gonna put it in the oven. Yeah, I know. They told you to cook it to 165 to make it safe. Well, look, if you don't want to cook it that low, don't. Cook it to 165. Have some dry meat. I don't care. Not up to me. I let it cool off. Yes, I have asbestos fingers, but not that asbestos. So we're just going to slide this out. Oh, yeah. And that's it, y'all. That is my meatloaf that my kids love. I'm telling y'all. I'm going to cut this sucker up. Get me a little piece so we can taste it. Not that end. That end is for Janine. She likes the end, so I always save it for her. I'm gonna give it to her in a little minute. This stuff stays long. You can cook it, you can use it as leftovers. My kids bring it to school. It is absolutely amazing, y'all. This is delicious. Wow. Hey, thanks so much for watching. If you really like this, go ahead and subscribe. Look, I'm gonna have the description, the recipe, everything down below or up on top, depending on where you're watching, whatever. Uh, and if you like the content, we're going to have some more coming. So please subscribe, hit the likes and things like that, whatever it is that you do. Thank you so much.